This video is PG-13 audiences. It contains swearing, a bit of dark jokes, etc., and maybe ruining your childhood time. Viewer description is advised. <sighs> I'm actually pissed right now. I don't know why I'm making this. What are those? Ah, uh, maybe that's the reason why. I think it's made on purpose because Rosemary Wells is kind of a good drawer, and I don't think it, it's made by her. So, well, it's made by her on purpose. So let's just start. Timothy's mother made a brand new salsa for the first day of school. Hooray! Okay, what the fuck is this? Timothy's happy to go to school. That's okay. But actually, I know the original show, but I don't know why I make this. Not the bully, but he was like so happy to go to school. He's a nerd. <laughs> the message went to school his new son started with his new book and his new pencil. What? So what? Did he go to the bus at school? Then bro had to bring a book and a pencil just for school? Bro, Timothy is becoming the nerd, not Fritz. Because, like, what the fuck? He's like, um, according, um, according to my calculation, I'm gonna go to school and go get some new friends. What? Well, no shit, your luck, what the fuck? Good morning, said Timothy. Good morning, said Mrs. Jenkins. Well, what the fuck is that supposed to- Wait, why there's a bunny right there? That is not supposed to be there, and there, uh, of course there's a- What is your cut so and who is this? Probably Lily. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Timothy said, "Mrs. Jenkins, this is God. God, this is Timothy. I'm sure you will be the best of friends." But didn't you sing the welcome song? What the fuck? Hello, said Timothy. Nobody was a damn something on a first deep scale, said Claude. Um. I'm not sure. He, I don't remember what he said, but I'm sure he gave a he gave him a strict face. Yeah, he did. During playtime, Timothy hoped and hoped that Claude would fall into a shit puddle. But the motherfucker didn't. When Timothy came home, his mother asked, "How did you get Nobody was just on sort of first day of school," said Timothy. "I will make a bra a beautiful new jacket." Said to his mother, "What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Did he go to bed when she said that? I'm not a book OG, so it's the first. It's my first time reading this. Not my fault." Timothy wears a new jacket the next day. Hey, look," said Timothy to Claude. "You're not supposed to wear clothes on the second day of school," said Claude. "What is wrong to be so mad? That in the episode of the first one." Timothy wished and wished that Claude would f make a more fucking mistake because he's all retarded. The motherfucker did. Under the teacher's nose, it's like. With Timothy, with her, his mother asked, "How did they go?" You're not supposed to be pretty close to the senior school," said Timothy. Die, said Timothy's mother. The world is just where between and all everyone else. The next day, Timothy went to school in his favorite shirt, and I don't know why is he staring himself with his stinky ass face. Look, said Timothy, you were in the same shirt that I am. No, said Claude, you are wearing the same shirt that I am. During lunch, Timothy wished and wished that Claude will have to eat all alone. Dog looks like she had the flu. Damn. Put the motherfucking tint. <laughs> Dog, what the fuck? You have that look on your face. <laughs> After school, Timothy's mother could not find Timothy. Rob you. She called. I'm never going to make you scared. Said Timothy. Why not? Called his mother. Because Claude is oh, what the f
Timothy did not feel better in his new football shirt. Well, guess what? I don't care. That morning, Claude played a saxophone. I can't stand it anymore. Said of a voice next to Timothy. What? It was Violet. She just said what? Timothy asked Violet. Who the fuck is Violet? Said Violet. She thinks she dances. She grums on a thousand. She thinks it sits next to me. What? Gorch was a bunny. Well, that kind of makes sense. During playtime, Timothy and Violet stayed together. <gasps> Violet was the ex best friend of Timothy. How? No, no, no. I, I'm not accepting this, Rosemary. Violet said, "I can't believe you've been here all along." Would you come home and have cookies with me after school? Timothy asked. <gasps> oh no, no. I'm so pissed. On the way home, Timothy and Violet laughed so much about Claude and Grace that they both got the hiccups. <gasps> no way. Rosemary, why did you do that? Oh my gosh. We got to the second one. It's Yoko. Seriously, every time the, the, the story changes it even gets worse which means it gets more uglier so yoko you better not <laughs> what would you like for lunch today my little cherry blossom and s ask yoko's mom on oh, my favorite thing please and sorry yoko <laughs> what the fuck is this <laughs> Girl, what is this face? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yoko's mother feared. Hey, I can't read. So blue. I don't know how to fucking read, but what? The Have a wonderful day at school, my little cherry blossom. Said Yoko's mom. I will answer, Yoko. But what are those shibri timbers? Are so damn white. They're supposed to be gray. Why the why her shibori timber so white? Yoko and her said hello to all of her friends. Everyone in Mrs. Jenkins' class song for the good morning song. They never seen a good morning song, bro. I I hope they will be there in the logic of Rosemary Rose, but what the fuck is this? What the hell? What the hell, Yoko? What is this face? Oh, I you look like a damn wolf, damn boy. At noon, Mrs. Jenkins read the lunch bell. Lunch, bo lunch boxes uh, all in open, please, more fuckers. <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that me. <laughs> Timothy unwrapped the peanut butter and honey sandwich. Very has some cheese and jerk. Fritz has some meatball grinder. Tulip has Swiss cheese and <laughs> Hazel had egg salad. On pepper, Nick. What? Doris has squeezed his own white bread. And the frog says, Damn bitch! Yeah, bread! I just can't read any shit because I just tried and this is bullshit. But what the fuck is this face, Joko? Just tell me why. What's in your lunch? Ask one of the small fucking Franks. <coughs> What the fuck is that face? <laughs> what the hell? She's supposed to be sad like that? Not to be sad like that? What the fuck? Bro, her face looks like she just shit her pants. The fuck? You fucking don't know what to play ball. Swing on the motherfucking swings. What's wrong, Yoko? Said the teacher. Everybody love my lunch. And so, Yoko, don't forget about, about snack time. Said Mrs. Jenkins. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is random. She didn't even say that. She just said, Okay, we get it! But they didn't. During the snack time song, Yoko opened the uh, red bean ice cream. Red bean ice cream for more fucking weirdos! Said the Franks. Mrs. Jenkins said, uh, was like, uh, okay, um, uh, we're gonna skip this, okay? <laughs> okay. Like, we <laughs> Mr. Jenkins, not a friendly song was not enough. Later to the evening, she, 
she think about Yoko finally and story came on her head because Yoko bitch we will make it look sushi for the whole class said Yoko's mom don't worry my little cherry blossom everyone will try our sushi and everyone will love it no chat more morning but we are no more great and the play of <laughs> Timothy and his mother made some coconut crisps. Their eyes! What the fuck? You look like they smoked weed! That! Hazel brought Nigerian nuts soup. Henry brought poison nuts. Martin daddy pig. Doris brought Irish stew. Tootie brought potato niches. Monica brought petrol mango smoothie. Chris brought spaghetti. Sad ass Frank cooked our dick for Boston. Frank and Beans! Yeah! At noon, Mrs. Vinkies rained the lunch belly and everyone decided to clean up your fucking hands song. But we eat everything! What does International Food Day mean to us, boys and girls? Asked Mrs. Vinkies. everybody! <laughs> Why did they have a the play that whistle? There was no sh nothing but bullshit. Yeah! But no one touch a oh, single piece of, f of Yoko's fucking sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Yoko tree. Sorry, because she's a fucking dumbass. It was Timothy. He was still a fat ass. Let me show you how. Said Yoko. Oh, cause Timothy's a huge retard and a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an old dad's grandma. <laughs> the fuck? During the school bus, sound Timothy found a coconut crisps on his ass and gave it to Yoko. It's better than Red <laughs> Ice that face looks like he liked it from his ass <laughs> On the bus, Timothy and Yoko made plans to push their desk together and open a restaurant the very next day. What? No, whoa, 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 what? Their desk? There are desks in a fucking bus! What the fuck? And they did. They ordered tomato sandwiches and dragon rolls, more like than dragon balls. For dessert, they had brownies with green ice cream. And then they couldn't have asked for anything more because they became fat. No, Zinora! Let's fucking go! What the fuck, Jack? Why do you look like that? What do your mom is like? Oh my gosh, damn! Did that play with Kate? Wait, who the fuck is Kate? I never heard of her. There's something wrong with the fucking family. Please tell me in the comments who the fuck is Kate. Check needed burping! So she had the word, little shit! <laughs> First, she buckled the window. Then she buckled <laughs> Then she dropped her sister's more fucking marbles on the more fucking kitchen floor. <laughs> Say her father. <laughs> Say her mom. No. <laughs> Say her dumb sister. What is so stupid? Jack had gotten filthy because he got by because he threw up. Yeah. Motherfucker cooked with cake and jagged. I got like a sausage roll because I want to eat him. Yeah! First, she knocked the lamp down and she fell some stairs because she's a piece of shit. Then she took her brother's kite and then she broke it down the stairs! <laughs> said her father. Ouch, daddy! said her mom. What the fuck? No, uh, said her sister. Why are you so retarded? Jackie Boo Boo wants to go to sleep. The dad read with Kate because she can't read. 
Jack needed sinnings because he's like <laughs> I'm leaving Shadinor and I'm never coming back. <laughs> and they didn't hear any sound but a troll from Jack. Since when he can speak Dad stopped his reading. Mercy, said her sister. Something's very wrong. I think she's dead. No, no, right in the bathtub. What? What? They have a golden bathroom. They're rich as fuck, bro. No, no, right in the mailbox. But she's too fat to fit in. What the fuck? She left us. Probably she's dead. Yeah! Be the big again! Send the little shit. It was just a bacon from Roblox, dumbasses. The end!